guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure you hit subscribe and check out all my other videos. <laughs> so if you couldn't tell by the title of this video or my location, um, I withdrew from college. Um, so this has been a decision that I have been thinking about for a while, honestly. So school has just like never really been my thing. Like, like, I did good in school, I got good grades for the most part, um, but I was never that kid that was interested in anything in school. Um, all throughout high school, I just did show choir and theater, and those were what kept me sane throughout school. Um, I always had to find something else within school that would help me be productive and um, keep my mind off of school-related things, um, just because nothing was interesting to me like I honestly just felt like most of the time I was wasting my time um, especially like in math classes and stuff like I was I've never been really good at math um, it was my worst subject because I sit there and I'm like what am I gonna use this for like besides like addition and subtraction and all that kind of stuff um, I feel like they should really teach us like the main things that we're gonna be using like math for like banking or something but I never got taught that kind of stuff so um, a lot of time spent in school I just felt like I was wasting my time so during my throughout high school um, I really like told myself and told other people that I was not planning on going to college I was pretty much set on that um, I really don't remember what I really wanted to do but um, I, it was not college. College was definitely nowhere in my mind and I did not see myself going to college in the future. And um, it, it stayed that way up until my senior year and um, I finally was like, you know what, maybe I should just go to college to get the experience because that's what everyone else is doing. And um, that's not a thought process that you should have honestly because throughout life there's going to be many things that other people are doing and if it's not for you then it's not for you so you shouldn't do what others are doing just because they're doing it because if they're happy with it then that's fine but a lot of things that other people are going to be doing aren't going to make you happy and it's all about what's going to make you happy in the long run so I finally just decided hey I'm just going to go to college just to see what it's like because I feel like I should and um my parents are very supportive. Thankfully, I'm so blessed with the best parents I could have ever asked for. Um, a little backstory: um, my dad went throughout college. He went to to many colleges. I can't even count how many colleges he went to, and he got his bachelor's in I think some sort of science. Um, he taught science for like a year, and he finally decided that's not for him. And um, so yeah that's my dad and then my mom she went to many colleges too and she never finished anything and that's completely fine too so neither of my parents are using any of their college experience and my parents are very successful now and I'm very proud of my parents for what they've done but they neither of them are using their co like a college degree or anything for what they're doing and there are great examples to show that you don't need a college degree in this day and time to be successful um, so with that said like I'm very lucky to have parents who understand where I'm coming from and understand that school is not for everyone so yeah back to my senior year um, I applied to one college and that was the University of Tennessee um, and I decided to go for that college because it was um, it was far enough to where I could get like the college experience and like you know live like that college life but also close enough to where I could come home if I needed to and which is what I really wanted because I know that I would get homesick because I love my family so much we're really close and um, so that was a perfect fit for me and I really wanted a big college because I'm a very social person and I love meeting new people I love being around tons of people so I knew that was a right fit for me plus it was an SEC school so I love like football and everything and 
um, that was like a big part to me so I applied and I got in so that was like really reassuring to me that I actually could get into college and I I applied with a 23 on my ACT and then I took the ACT again and got a 24 and I just stopped there but um yeah so like it wasn't like anything special I just got a 23 um and so I felt like I felt good about myself that like I wow I got into a big school um I know it's not like Harvard or anything but like feel like that that made me feel good about myself so I got to college and um I was doing fine like I did not feel homesick at all which was really surprising to me and um, I had my roommate Shelby which all of you guys know or if you don't and you're new there's videos with Shelby um, and I was having a blast and my sweet mates and I got along so well um, I was making new friends I actually enjoyed a lot of my classes funny story I was taking 15 hours um, and then I dropped Spanish. The first day I took Spanish, I dropped it because I was like, this lady's speaking to me in fluent Spanish and I am not this level of Spanish. So um, I was like, I'm going to drop it before it drops my GPA. So I dropped Spanish the first day of it. So then I went down to 12 hours and that's like the minimum amount of hours that you can have. So yay me. Um, but yeah, so I was doing good. Like the first like four weeks or so and um there's like a thing that's like once you get to your fifth week if your fifth week it hits you that this isn't like summer camp or any anymore or something like that you know just like some sort of fun camp it's not that anymore once it gets to the fifth week you're like oh my gosh i have my first paper due i have my first tests and all that stuff and it just hits you really hard that this is real this is school um, and you're paying all this money for this stuff. And so once it got to that point for me, um, like I said, like it really hit me hard and I finally realized that this is, um, this is not what I want to do. It made me realize that I was paying all this money to be doing something that I was not enjoying. Um, and I finally realized that I was at the point in my life where once you're done with, you know, like elementary school, middle school, and high school, you are not obligated to go to school anymore. And so I just kept telling, I just kept telling myself, Jill, like, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you're not happy, then you don't have to do it. Like, like I said, school is not for everyone. And I really wish that, and, and that everyone would understand that. And it really makes me sad to realize that a lot of kids are not happy in college, but they have to be there because their parents are making them or something, or they, they're there because they think that their parents would be disappointed in them if they decided to leave. But I mean, I feel like a lot of parents are actually more understanding than kids are thinking they would be. Um, because I told myself that if I were to leave, I would leave once I finished a semester like I would finish up the semester that I was in and then I would leave but you really don't understand until you're in that situation um because um I was telling myself I was getting I was so hard on myself because I was like wow my parents are going to be so disappointed in me for not even being able to finish a semester of school and so, I remember the day, it was two days ago, yeah, two days ago, um, I was just sitting in my room with my roommate and everything, and we're just talking about school, I don't remember exactly what we were talking about, and then all of a sudden, it was just like a train hit me, and I just, like, have a mental breakdown, and I was bawling my eyes out, and she just comes over and hugs me, and I'm like, I need to call my mom. And so I called my mom and the first thing she, cause she's like, hello. And then I'm talking, you know, I'm crying. So she's like, oh my gosh, what happened? And I'm like, I can't do it anymore. I can't be at school anymore. And she's like, oh my gosh, I like thought something had happened to you. And, um, so I just talked to her and I'm like, mom, I have been struggling with this so hard because I thought you guys were going to be so disappointed in me. 
and the first thing she said is, we are not disappointed in you at all, we love you, and that was like <laughs> a bunch of weight just taken off of me because I know that my parents would support me no matter what, but I just felt like they would be disappointed in me for not being able to finish, and luckily they're even more supportive than I could have ever asked for that um, they like still supported me throughout this. And so she's like, please just like breathe and like go take a shower and stuff and just relax for the rest of this day and I will like talk to you about it later. And um, so that's what we did and then the next day, no, later that day, I think it was, I texted her and I was like, mom, I have to withdraw, like I can't do it anymore. And she was like, okay. If, that, if you are 100% sure about this choice, then you do what you need to do. Um, and what I told her, and what I think that everyone should realize, is that it got to a point where I was worrying so much more about my grades, and how I was doing in school, and like getting a paper done, and all like that work and homework done. I was worrying about all of that over my mental health. And that is the point when it is not okay and you need to take a step back and really focus on yourself and your health and making yourself happy because in the long run, like, yeah, I might regret like dropping out of school early, but it was what I needed in that time because I was to the point where I was really in a really dark place and I knew I had to get out of it because Yes, um, I love the town of my school. I love my school, but I just hated school, if that makes sense. And um, I don't think it's like loving, loving the place and the people there are enough to keep me there. And um, I'm paying all that money also for something that I'm not interested in. Um, it just wasn't enough. And so um, it was best for me to come home and I am extremely happy with my choice and I'm so blessed and thankful to have my family and my friends there to support me and um, so many people have been asking me so what are you gonna do now um, so I'm home um, I packed up all my stuff yesterday and headed home and um, so I'm now applying to jobs here and I'm going to be working on my YouTube, of course, a lot more, which I'm really excited about. Um, and I am either going to want to go to beauty school or try to get my real estate license. And my mom even said, you could do both if you wanted to. <laughs> so um, I'm really going to have to do some research and figure out what I really want to do. And um, But luckily I have time. Like, you know, I am... I'm 19, I just turned 19 a few days ago, so um, I have time, like I have my whole life to figure out what I want to do, and um, I'm just really excited and I'm in a happy place now, and of course I told my friends um, over at my, I guess my old college, I don't even know what to say anywhere, um, where I used to go, I'm going to come visit of course, and they're welcome to come visit me, um, and my roommate and I are so close, that's one of my best friends, and I always tell her she's going to be in my wedding someday, she's going to be one of my baby's god mothers, like, I love that girl, that's one of my best friends, and that's never, that's not going to change from me leaving, and, um, yeah, so that's my story, um, just know that if you are going through the same thing, or, um, you know, you know someone going through the same thing, just let them know, or let yourself know that it is okay. You are it's completely normal to feel this way. College is a completely different world and um it's okay to feel like it's not your thing. School is not for everybody and uh everyone should realize that. So, I hope that this video helped you <laughs> if you're going through this uh the same scenario I guess and I hope that you liked this video so make sure you subscribe if you're not already give this video a thumbs up and leave down any questions in the comments if you have any um, 
and also leave me some video suggestions since I'm back home now. Um, I'm trying to think of like some like fall videos to do. Um, I'm like wearing my sweater because I'm so excited for fall because the fall weather is actually finally here so I'm really excited um, and I can't wait to see where life takes me and I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.